Hello! Today we're doing the tier list for the cast of Dance Mums. Just the mothers. I'm not in the business of criticising kids. No matter how shit the turns are. Here we have our lovely ladies across the bottom. Let's just get stuck in. First up, Abby Lee Miller herself, the queen of the castle, the one who started it all off with the Abby Lee Dance Company. Superb teacher, not afraid to give them hell. When they deserve it, may I add. And sometimes when they don't. I love this woman, and I love how she keeps the rest of these yammering bitches in line. S for Miss Miller. Do I agree with everything she said? No. Did I thoroughly enjoy everything she said? Absolutely. I want this kid with me! I don't want her with you! Sleeping with some guy you're not even married to! No! There'd be no dance mums without Abby Lee, and you'd be well to remember that. Up next we have Christy, mother of Chloe. Um, I feel like she was quite overprotective of Chloe. Uh, Chloe struggled with, obviously, she was quite shy, as we all know. Um, you know, when called upon for a solo, always, always played on her. Hey, I'm thrilled that Chloe can remember the dance. You know, Christy's one of them that always had to be involved. Um, always slagging off. Probably one of the bitchiest ones. Like to whine a bit too much for my liking. And she has her own YouTube channel. Check it out. You'll want to kill yourself. Awful stuff. D. Banished. Can I just preface? It's nothing against Chloe. I think she was a terrific dancer. And she even beat Maddie in that one year at the finals. So, listen. Chloe, you're great. Your mother is a dickhead. Next. Holly. Or Dr. Holly. Holly, 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 what do we say about this? Holly, I feel like she'd make herself seem above all the bitchiness and sassiness and then come out with something every now and then that you think, Jesus, you're worse than all of them. You know what I mean? You know, she's, she's a doctor, which is to be respected, but she'd hold it over everyone. And this is going to be a controversial view, and you all know what episode I'm talking about. Um, Nia came in dreads one day. Dr. Holly made it about ethnicity and race. Abby Lee was not saying that at all, but she had an idea for the number. She had a specific hairstyle for the number. She dresses all the kids the same. She does the hair all the same for a reason, Holly. Don't bring race into it. It's nothing to do with that. It wasn't suitable for the piece. I just want to understand, what's the disconnect? Overstepping your boundary. C, because she's not as despicable as Christy. Christy. <laughs> Who we got here? Oh, the head's chopped off. This little cherub is Kathy. We all know Kathy as the owner founder of the rival dance studio, Candy Apples. Candy Apples brought out great, terrific dancers. However, I don't know. You know, she was always poaching Abby's people um, and trying to one up her, as opposed to just doing her own thing and letting that speak for herself. She definitely has the spite of Abby Lee. She is a beat behind. She looks shaky. When them two would go at it, it was amazing. I like Kathy. I like anyone that's controversial in a good way. Um, A. Just not quite Abby Lee's level. And gave Abby a run for her money on a few of these competitions, as you'll know. Took home the glory a few times. So well done, Kathy. Keep up the good work. Up next, we have the mother of Jojo Siwa, Jessalyn. She's obviously done something right. Jojo's a mega, mega star. The biggest to come out of this show, without a doubt. It's not even close. And I think that has a lot to do with Jessalyn. You know? She was controversial and went against Abby's opinions. Which I don't really like. But she seemed to do it in a better way. She encouraged Jojo to stand up for herself in the right way. There weren't much... <laughs> from her. She'd observe. Put in a little spicy comment here and there. Just to, you know, set things off. And then come away from the situation and let Jojo do a magic. Jojo, terrific dancer, keep up the great work, you're a hustler. And Jessalyn, you get an A. How about that? Where do I start with Jill? Mother of Kendall, or sickle feet Kendall as I call her. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Great little dancer, couldn't turn. This is a lot of pressure for Kendall to have a solo right now, and she's feeling it. My problem with Jill, and the fans will know this term, Studio Hopper. When things aren't going her way and Kendall ain't getting the solos, guess what? She's fucking off to a studio that will. 
Well, to me, that's not how it works, pal. Abby Lee Miller is trying to train your kids that so, some things have to be earned in life, Jill. You're not interested in that. You're interested in swanning off. Don't think I've forgotten, and don't think the people at home have. When you went to Candy Apples that time, I'm fuming about that still. You made your daughter dance against her own dance troupe. The people she's grown up with. Shame on you, Jill. For shame. D. I always found her quite attractive, though. C. Fit. Oh, God, here we go. Leslie. Peyton's mother. A bit of a short-lived Dance Mums cast member. And I'm glad. Leslie, if you can see her picture there, that's an accurate representation of her face all the time. Combative. Just a nasty piece of work, Leslie. Uh, and sh I can't help feeling that um, she held Peyton back a little. Yeah, I'll say it. None of the mothers liked her, um, but that's a D. She was an awful person, and I'm glad she uh, wasn't in it long. Poor Peyton, though. I did feel for her. But with a bitch like that for a mother, what can you do? Melissa, the last one. Melissa, uh, mother of Mackenzie and Maddie, of course. She's a kiss ass. She lived firmly up Abby Lee Miller's... No, jokes aside, she's raised two marvellous dancers. I mean, Maddie was always the favourite, always raking in the trophies, but that was because Melissa was so far up Abby's... I'm just going to say it. Ring. Don't cry when it's Abby yells. It's okay. As well about Melissa, there's another aspect. She'd never fess up. She's one of them that stays firmly on the fence, then when confronted by either side, jumps off temporarily... Yeah, yeah, I agree. Jump back on. Oh, I don't know. Oh, what are you saying? Yeah, I agree. Back on the fence, denying it to either party that she said the other thing. Melissa, you're a cunt. Sorry, you're not a cunt. That's a bit strong. You're two-faced. Um, and you belong in C. Sorry. Uh, the sad thing about this is uh, a lot of these cast members don't speak to Abby anymore. Well, you know what I say? Have a bit of respect and remember where you've come from. You know the one person who does? Jessalyn and Jojo. They completely respect where they've come from. They recognise Abby Lee Miller for what she has done for their children. And Jojo even admits that she carries so much with her that Abby Lee taught her all them years ago. So for me, the rest of them can get fucked. Thanks for watching the Nothing Channel. Subscribe, go on, treat yourself to another one. Da da da, woo!